Hello everybody, my name is Samuel Moxham and today we're going to be doing how to make explosions in the Armoury game engine. Um, now that's a bit of a clickbait title because really I'm going to be teaching you how to do tile sheets today. Uh, and that is a principle that can apply for so many things. So what I've done is I've created a whole bunch of examples on the screen. Um, so here we have the explosion that we're going to be making today. But we also have like a light aura that you can have coming down from the ceiling. Uh, we have some water splash in case you shoot your gun into water, the water or a uh, wall smash. Uh, smash, you know, um, uh, an impact. Um, we have a little coin burst here, uh, which is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Um, you kill an enemy, maybe coins burst out of them. It's sort of for a more cartoony style game. Uh, we have some sort of particle effects. Um here and here so that's actually on a cylinder um, so that's actually a 3d object there um, I thought this one would be quite cool for a thruster on a spaceship you can have some like laser beam effects and um, uh, an alternate way of having water in the game uh, and you also see that I have some rain on the screen here as well you can do rain with this uh, so you ask how do we make these uh, tile sheets well I use two different pieces of software um, the first being Blast Effects, which is a uh, piece of software that you can get off Steam. I think it's $25. Uh, and you enter in shapes, and it pretty much makes a particle system and then outputs a sprite sheet. And the other one I use is Timeline Effects, which is available uh, online. Uh, you'll have to search for their website. And I believe that is uh, 60 New Zealand dollars because I'm from New Zealand. Uh, I believe it's just under 30 euros. Um, so all the examples I'm using today is just from the default library in Timeline FX, so nothing too special. Um, as you can see, there's a huge variety of things that you can do. Uh, quite a few really cool ones that you can sort of tweak and uh, make them your own and then add them to your game. If you want to have uh, a play around with some sprite sheets that are really readily available, uh, if you head over to the Armoury 3D GitHub page, they have a whole heap of examples. And one of those examples is in a folder uh, called Tile Sheets. And then there's a tilesheet.blend. And this has a 8-bit example of Tile Sheets in action, uh, as you can see, with uh, these characters that look amazing. Uh, so if you want to have a play around, use this. Cool. So this is just a default blender scene. We're going to delete the default cube, and we're going to add a plane. We're going to come over to the Materials tab over here. We're going to create new, and I'm just going to call this Explosion. We're going to change it from the uh, principled BSDF to the Armoury PBR. And then we're going to come down here, and we're going to change the billboard to spherical. So that means it's always going to face the camera. And if we drop down this tab called Armoury Tile Sheet, this is where the magic happens. So we're going to add a new one, and we're going to call it Explosion. And then we're going to create an action, which is called explosion. So in one tile sheet, you can have more than one action. Um, cool. So that's all in place now. Uh, let's go to our shader editor and add in our tile sheet. So I'm just going to hit Shift A and search in for image. And here it is here. So we're going to add that in uh, and hook it up to our material and I'm just going to change over to here to viewport shading and it's going to look something like this. So the next thing we need to do is we need to get the UV sorted. So I just hit U, unwrap and we're going to change over here to the UV editor. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to count the amount of uh, tiles in this sprite sheet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight across and it looks like it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight down. So over here, back in our material tab, we're going to go tiles x8, tiles y8. Frame rate is uh, four is a bit slow. Uh, usually uh, it varies. So usually six, eight, or ten I usually use. And we're going to have our start frame at zero, which is this one here. And it's going to end at eight times eight, which is 30. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just say type 4, uh, so it's 64. Um, cool. And the next thing we need to do is we need to do 1 divided by 8 to get the size of a single tile, which is 0.125, I think. 
Ooh. I'm just going to hit UV constraint to image bounds. And that means we can just tuck it perfectly in the corner there. Excellent. So that is the tile sheet spread up. We now have to tell the game to run the, sparse, the sprite sheet, the tile, the tile sheet. Uh, so we're going to come over here to logic editor. I'm going to create a new one. I'm just going to call it explosion. And we're going to go shift a search and we're just going to type in init. And it's going to give us an on init node. And then I'm going to add a self mode node. And then add a play tile sheet node. And here we just need to tell it what action it is. So if you come back down here to the material, the action is called explosion. I think I spelled that right. And now we need to have that run. So we're going to go over to the object um, menu and we're going to go armory traits and we're going to add in a node trait. And it's going to be explosion. And then last thing to do is if we go down to tile sheets, we add explosion and action explosion. And that is that done. I'm just going to hit save. Save it as tutorial.blend. And now if we hit F5, it's probably going to give us an error. Um, saying it's missing this UV map. I don't know why it does this. So yep, we haven't got anything. So if we open up our system console, it's missing this UV map. And it's showing up twice because there are two lines here. And now I... I there's three things to do to fix this and it's never consistent on why it decides to remember what the UV map is. So here I've added a UV map node. Okay, that didn't work. Sometimes it does. Uh, sometimes disconnecting and reconnecting the nodes here works. That didn't work. Sometimes going into the UV editor and just hitting tab a few times also works. Oh, hey, that worked. And here we go. We've got an explosion that's facing the camera in the game. Uh, now, that's it. Now, you can do that for any sprite sheet that you want. Uh, one of the obvious examples that I missed out was a candle. Like, a candle is a great example of a sprite sheet. And uh, the reason we use sprite sheets, of course, is because it's a lot less intensive than uh, actually, you know, it's less intensive on the uh, computer than the alternatives. Uh, so that's that. But wait, there's more. So, it's all well and good me teaching you how to make a tile sheet, but let's actually uh, take it out of a controlled condition and uh, apply it to a game. So here I've loaded up the template for the first person shooter, and what we're gonna do is whenever the player shoots a bullet, uh, when that bullet hits the floor, it's gonna play the impact sprite sheet where the bullet hit. So, this is actually surprisingly easy. Um, you can do this to different complicating you know you can get it make it as complicated as you want but I'm just going to show you the real basic side of things which we can do in a few minutes so if we hit play as it is now I have imported in the impact as we had just created it previously and uh, as you can see when we shoot it makes loud noises um, and what we're going to do is we're going to have this impact play every single time the bullet hits the floor so Let's do it. The very first thing we need to do is we're going to select our tile sheet and this loop is on by default. We're going to disable that. So it's only going to play once and then it's going to finish. And we're going to go to its logic, the logic node editor. And this is the nodes we set up before. We're just going to add one simple thing and we're going to add a remove object node. And we're going to connect the done to the in and we're going to remove self. Because what's going to happen is every single time this bullet impacts with the floor, it's going to be creating another one of these planes. And if we don't remove it when it's finished, it's just going to keep building up, building up, and the computer will eventually slow down once there's thousands and thousands of them. Uh, so this way it removes the object. And the reason we have the self node is we can't just type in the object name because then it'll be confused because we're creating duplicates of the same object. So it's going to start removing the wrong object. Uh, so this way it's removing itself when it's done. Uh... Okay, and the next thing we need to do is find the bullet uh, projectile. And we're going to create a new logic node tree. And we're going to call this uh, bullet hit. And we're just going to connect that up in the armory traits under the object bullet hit. 
and we're going to do, uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called, physics, get first contact. And we're going to add a self. So now whenever the projectile hits something, it's going to output the object that it's hit. Spawn. I can't, I, I forgot how to do this. But we're going to spawn in the plane, which is our impact. Uh, on contact, that's the one. So, now what's happening is it's going to look for when the projectile has hit something, it's created a contact and it's going to send a pulse through to the spawn object and it's going to spawn our plane. Uh, and now we need to tell the plane where to go. So we're going to add, uh, we're going to just search and transform. And we're going to add the transform. And what we're going to do is we only want the location. So we're then going to get location. And we're going to put the self in as the object. So it's going to get the location of the projectile at the time that it is collided. And that's the transform that's going to use to spawn the object. So if we hit F5 and play the game, if we shoot, there we go. We are now getting impacts whenever the bullet hits the floor. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed uh, listening to this tutorial and it has been informative to you and that you can make good use of it. Uh, go nuts, have lots of fun. Sprite sheets are amazing. Uh, very easy way to add visual effects. So yeah, thank you very much. See ya.